Hey everyone, welcome to today's introductory session on FAW, that is Fusion Analytics Warehouse. So FAW is a SaaS offering uh, from Oracle. Now, before jumping into the details of what is FAW, how it is different from other traditional reporting solutions or other packaged applications, let me take a step back and discuss how the traditional reporting architecture looks like in a typical analytical world today. So I have just created a dummy diagram to explain my point here. So as you can see on my screen, what happens in today's uh, world is, uh, let's say uh, you want to build a data warehouse and do a reporting on top of it. On top of it. What we do is we take the data from some relational, non-relational data sources. Uh, we, uh, if uh, the requirement is to club the data from files, we uh, take those files. We extract the data using some uh, ETL tools. There are various ETL tools in the market like Informatica, Oracle Data Integrator, and some other open sources. We dump that data into a data warehouse. We do a star schema modeling on it. Uh, we uh, convert that data into facts and dimensions. And then we do a uh, analytical reporting on top of it using different uh, tools we have, like we have uh, OBI, we have OAS, we have OAC, then we have some non-Oracle products like Tableau, Power BI. But the point is, this is how the traditional uh, reporting or the uh, data warehousing setup looks like. Now, the beauty here is uh, every component here is controlled by customer. So customer has access to all the uh, pipelines that are developed in an ETL solution. A customer will know what sort of data modeling is done, what sort of reporting setup is done. So if any changes they want to do, they will be able to seamlessly uh, do it. Okay. So uh, this is this is kind of a prepackaged setup. So if we go back 10 or 20 years down the line, Siebel combined all these components into a prepackaged application and started selling it as Siebel Analytics. Uh, in 2000s or early 2000s, Oracle acquired Siebel Analytics, renamed it to Oracle BI application and started selling it. Uh, Oracle BI application has gone uh, through a, a lot of changes over the years. Uh, uh, now the latest uh, BI apps version that is there in the market is 11.1.1.10.3 and that will be the last uh, uh, prepackaged application that Oracle will uh, sell or on-premise. Now, uh, what Oracle has done is, what is the next uh, path for all those customers who still want to leverage this prepackaged setup, but want to also leverage the capabilities of cloud? So what Oracle's uh, pro product direction is, they need to move to FAW. That is where the SaaS application comes into uh, picture, and FAW is an, what you say, uh, extension of BI apps for cloud related uh, components or cloud related uh, setup. So with this uh, a little background, now let's move on to FAW. So like I already mentioned, FAW is a pre, is a SaaS application or a SaaS offering that comes with its prepackaged uh, uh, or pre-built components. So when you provision FAW, you get uh, different pre-built uh, pre or pre-packaged uh, pipelines, you get pre-built uh, reports uh, that you don't need to uh, worry about or start from the scratch. So if we talk about a typical analytical setup that we discussed, uh, customer will have to go through all the pain of understanding the source system, build uh, the ETL uh, pipelines, build the data model, and then the, uh, do the reporting on top of it. Now to cut down all this time, everything has been pre-packaged in uh, FAW. So once you provision uh, FAW, you get ADW, that is the underlying data warehouse, and a OAC, that is uh, Oracle's uh, recommended reporting platform for cloud. All this comes uh, pre-configured uh, with the uh, data model with the pipelines and with the uh, with the reports. So customer ha just has to plug and start uh, doing reporting on top of it. So what it does is it eventually gives a faster ROI uh, for the customer. Now coming to what sort of analytics or what sort of business areas that FAW caters to today. So as of today, FAW caters to your HCM analytics, ERP analytics, that is the financial analytics. CX analytics and the uh, supply chain analytics. Now, quickly talking about the high-level architecture of FAW. 
so as you can see uh, on the screen the architecture at a high level is basically demarcated into two one is the red components and one is the uh, blue components that you see uh, on this screen here so all the red components that you see are the pre built contents that you cannot modify so that is where the uh, saas uh, saas offering uh, role of saas offering comes into picture where you have all this pre packaged content but that is something oracle managed and you cannot see the underlying uh, pipelines or the uh, underlying data model that has been developed what customer can still do is they can still enhance it they can still extend it the way they want so what they need to do is so as you can see on uh, on the left hand side all the uh, package pipelines pumps the data into a pre packaged schema that resides in adw and a uh, modeling has been done on top of it if customer wants to leverage that but still uh, do the customization they can still do that using their uh, uh, etl to etl tool that they have license to they can pull the data into a custom schema match the data and do the custom semantic extension and custom reporting uh, on top of it now like i mentioned there are different uh, kpis that uh, faw uh, offer so there are actually more than 2000 to 2500 kpis that comes seeded with faw if somebody has to uh, you know some if somebody wants to go and see the details of it uh, i will quickly show uh, where they can see all these details in the oracle documentation so as you can see on my screen i am uh, basically showing you a oracle standard documentation you go to uh, cloud applications you go to guides and you will see different uh, analytics here like erp analytics hcm analytics scm analytics so once you click on for example erp analytics it tells you what all is covered under the erp analytics so it covers financials procurement and project inside it if you want to see what all schemas are there what all data lineage is there what all subject areas are covered all that is available to you in the form of documentation here but that is something will not be available to you from the ui so this is this is a key differentiator between faw which is a saas application and a pass uh, reporting setup that i explained you at the start of this session uh this was a quick introduction on how faw is stacked today obviously the solution or the product is uh, evolving at a rapid pace so you my rapid pace so you might see significant changes uh, down the line but i hope this uh, quick video giving you an insights into faw was helpful in the next uh, few videos we will go into uh, details of uh, faw how to provision it how to do the Uh, customization and how to do the uh, uh, what you say configuration and all so all those will be covered in the subsequent videos uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions around the same please drop them in the comment section thank you so much